Hi guys, Sportsheets Prime here, back another video review. And today we're we'll looking at the Transformers animated Cybertronian mode ratchets. Now I know last review I said there'd probably be a, a custom review this week. Unfortunately, there is not. But next week I guarantee a new custom review. Like, uh, the only way that's not going to happen, I guess, is if the world ends. <laughs> Anyways, animated. We need to talk more about animated, which I realized that my last animated review was my first animated review, which... What the heck? I love this toy line. I should have talked about it sooner. So I'm talking about some of my favorites every now and then, this being another one. Now, also in the last video I mentioned I love all the Cybertronian modes from Animated, which this is no except. This is probably like my favorite one, actually. As you can kind of see a little bit of hints of the amb of being an ambulance. Got the nice lights painted there, some treads. Little stuff there. This weapon's back here, but the back is kind of ugly. But let's just not go there. He does roll. If you get all this stuff down here lined up, anyways, which I can't, which I will admit, can be a bit of trouble with these. I always have issues, kind of figuring out the proper lineup. Yeah, he's a nice little chunky vehicle. He definitely, uh, <laughs> this definitely screams Cybertronian to me, because I will never see this on Earth, guaranteed, unless I live many a years in the future. Oh yeah, I do a little bit of paint damage on mine, unfortunately. Which also, forgot to mention, nice paint up here. Like seriously, like, there's there's not a ton of paint apps in his alt mode, but w what's here is good. Cause like these aren't even paint apps; these are just his feet. And there's a little bit of paint apps down there, though. You can see the underside. His robot crotch is just there. It's kind of alarming that that's the only robot kibble. I guess the only thing they technically didn't finish painting was that, but oh well. They did what matters. So anyways, let's get down to transformation. So these you can actually keep on if you want, but I'm going to take them off because it makes things easier. <laughs> so first thing you want to do with the, is the legs. You want to untab them, rotate down the thigh, spin this around, lock it into place. Second versus the same as the first, flip that down, rotate it around, lock it into place. Flip up the feet. Then let me raise up my camera a little bit. He looks like a turtle, actually. <laughs> oh no, the turtle's upside down. And you want to send that down. Here, push that up. So what you want to do here is you want that hole to go into the, this peg on both sides. Like so, push that down. Raise up the camera slightly more. Come around here to the back. You untab the arms like so. And flip them out on both sides. Like so. Flip them all the way up. Flip them down. And then you can fold that back. And then these should slide in here. Rotate all this around. Flip up the head. And here is Ratchet in his robot mode. And I really do like this robot mode. No close up on the head. The interesting thing about the head is if you have the the Earth mode toy, which is one of the few animated toys I don't have, you'll know that he has his little part missing, one of the horns partially missing, and a scowl. But the Cybertronian one, he's smiling. Also Beautiful light piping. I swear to God, animated consistently has just amazing light piping. Yeah, I guess the only thing I really don't like is, I guess, not only the side profile, more so this, how it sticks out. Like, you can kind of push it in a little bit, but then that sticks out, so there's just, there's just no winning. <laughs> he still does look pretty good, though. I do like how his raw mode is definitely done. This very much is just Cybertronian ratchet. Like it just, this just works. Siege. Why couldn't you have been this? The articulation on the head. You can look down a little bit. Technically look up on the transformation joint, but don't go too far. You can also do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. I guess they can move out on this joint if you need them to. Up that far. Double elbow bend. 
wrist swivel that I didn't even want to show off. There's a swivel there. The waist does nothing. Hips go forward that far. Back that far. Decent knee bend. Swivel there. Go out. They can bend there if you want him to break his leg. And you can kind of use this for some transformation. Not transformation, but for some poses. Now, of course, this being animated, there is a gimmick or two here. For example, like this, you can take this, push it up, and it's kind of like a punching action, which one thing you can also do if you didn't know is flip that around, and the arm stays. The other arm does not do this. The other arm is just arm. However, he does still have that mark on him, so... I guess that's... I mean, it's probably more so for toy functionality, but... Everything else just screams pre-lockdown to me. Yeah, he also does have his weapons, which I think are like defibrillators or something. Which how these work is you you just slot them into his hand. Come on, maybe it's this one. There we go. One slot into his hand. Come on. There we go. And now he can punch people back to life, I guess. toy is over 10 years old. I'm pretty sure some people are like, why are you reviewing animated toys? They're over 10 years old. But to that I say, this is a really good toy line and I've never really been able to talk about it on the channel. So I guess sometimes between some custom reviews when I'm working on stuff, we'll have animated reviews and you know, who knows what else. I do random stuff and I don't do custom reviews. Yeah, overall, great figure. If you can find one for between 10 and 20 bucks, I'd say definitely go for it. I think it still fairly holds up today. Like, yeah, it doesn't have waist articulation, but overall everything else is pretty much still there. Except for, also except for ankles. <laughs> so almost everything is still there. So yeah. Anyways, that is pretty much all I have to say. So, please be sure to check out my channel for more video and custom reviews, and please don't forget to subscribe. You can also check out my Facebook and Tumblr pages linked in the description below, and you can come join the Infinisun Discord server, also linked in the description below. And this is the 14th Prime, signing out.